Welcome to She Rebel Radio, the podcast for high-performing women leaders who want to unlearn conventional rules, leave prestigious careers, and launch businesses of significance. Each week, She Rebel Radio brings you insights and advice from women entrepreneurs who transformed their prestige prisons into daring entrepreneurial success stories. Now, here is your host, Lulu Nins. Welcome to episode 14 of She Rebel Radio, why more women need to find their significance. And I have just in the last couple of weeks got back from the yearly mastermind with my Rebel Heart Club mastermind clients, which is my best selling and signature program, the thing that I'm known for. I've previously hosted retreats in Marrakesh and in Goa in India and this year I did it at home in the UK in Devon in the rain in the mud and you know what it was amazing it was one it was the best one yet we had a beautiful group of women who held such gorgeous space for each other and we really dug into them finding their significance and what I can say to you is each and every one of those women left that retreat, when it was raining again, we did have a beautiful day on the Sunday, it was raining again on the Monday, really stepping out into more significance. So we're going to explore in episode 14 what significance is, what it is to you, and what fears come up around it, and how you can step into your significance in 2020. So it's going to be a good episode, do stay with me, and I'm going to share with you at the end a way that you can do some of this work with me outside of the Rebel Heart Club Mastermind. It's very rare that I offer things outside of that amazing program because it is all singing and all dancing. So as well, if you ever want to speak to me about that, just reach out, but stay tuned to the end because I'm going to share with you how you can find some more space and significance with me in 2020. So firstly, let's talk about what is significance. Significance is something that is worthy of attention. It is something that's noteworthy, memorable, impressive, rare, special, unforgettable, and crucial. It is being on purpose, and it's working within our values, which is extremely important, and doing something with meaning. And I know, for me, that was something I always wanted in my career, to have significance. Whilst I wouldn't have been able to verbalise that at a younger age, when I was 18, 19, and decided to go to university to study law, criminology, etc., what I did know is I always wanted to do something important. And I still remember, I always remember my appointments as as it were with careers advisors and feeling really uninspired probably because of the real insignificance they were proposing to me as being something I could do for a job certainly with my first appointment with a careers advisor at school they told me to be an animal beautician that was before I jumped jumped on the the law path even though it was something I wanted to do I didn't feel like that I I didn't feel that I was intelligent enough I didn't feel that I came from the right background for that kind of thing and I talked about being a vet because I loved animals I decided to be vegetarian from a very young age I still am although I'm a pescatarian rather than a vegetarian and my careers advisor told me to be an animal beautician and all I can say is that my mum swore quite profusely when I returned home something along the lines of me washing effing dogs she was not impressed because she certainly always wanted me to do something of significance as did my dad who was the one who really planted the seed to start a legal profession and to become a lawyer because I was always opinionated and always had something to say so he wasn't far wrong with that so I always wanted to do something important I always wanted to do something impressive and actually Something of insignificance scared me quite a lot. And I think for women like you, women like me, women like the amazing women who are on my mastermind, doing something of significance has always been a driver. It's always been something that has pulled us forward. And it's always been, there's always been perhaps an undercurrent bubbling away underneath that of a fear of insignificance and I don't know if that resonates with you but it certainly does with me and for many of us women 
being insignificant is a place that we know. It's a place that we understand at a cellular level because so many women have been forced into situations of insignificance and not being invited to the workforce. And even when we have done and and been able to move in those positions as lawyers, as bankers, as engineers, as accountants, we've had to do it in a way that's potentially feels insignificant to us. And I feel like that's what we're seeing now with women breaking out. And even though they have followed that career of prestige, they have found themselves feeling insignificant. They have found themselves doing stuff that's not worthy of attention, that is not memorable, that's not impressive, that's not making a difference, that's not on purpose, that's not in accordance with their values, that is unforgettable, that is not crucial and not valid of meaning. So whilst you started with the very best of intentions, what you find is that you can't actually do all of those things in the positions of prestige that you're in. So I hear you, sister, I have been there, and it doesn't feel good. And it doesn't feel like that actually that responsibility we have as women, and on my retreat last year in Goa, we were talking about this at the Mastermind with a beautiful sea view sipping cocktails, because yes, we do have cocktails and Prosecco on my retreats for sure, is um, we talk about that we're the first bankers, the first lawyers as women in our families. And actually what comes with that is a great sense of responsibility that we can also change things. So that feeling of feeling uncomfortable because you're not doing all of those things of significance can feel really fucking uncomfortable. It can. And that is your real indication in terms of why you need to move and how you need to step into more of your significance. But it's really important when looking at that, what might be holding you back from doing that in the first place? Now, we spent time at the retreat as well, also sharing the women of significance and some amazing men as well. And I didn't actually put a specific request to my clients that they had to be women of significance. It was people in um, the public eye of significance. And then we looked at also um, those people that you know that are that are in your immediate circles that are of significance, which we actually had even more depth and breakthroughs with that part of the conversation. But so many of my empowered, beautiful female clients did talk about those women of significance that inspire them. So Maya Angelou, Beyonce, Brené Brown, but those, those women that were actually in their lives, and as I've said, some amazing men as well, was really, really interesting. And what came up is those that are really stepping and working within their significance, it takes commitment. It takes real talent. And I would say stepping into your full zone of genius. It takes standing in your power. It takes working with integrity. It takes being grounded and embodying your values so much that you vibrate it through the very core of your being. It takes presence that you know that person's in the room. It takes a a, a level of certainty and building something that is not about you it's not about that person and it's potentially not even about something that you will complete or see in your lifetime so they are all the things that we were really diving into and discussing and what really came out of that as well is that that involves being seen it involves being heard it involves being accountable it involves being relied upon so why is it that so many women are rejecting or trying potentially to stay away from that importance, that significance, that power, because it's freaking scary. And you know that when you have gone down the channel of positions of prestige, of finding your significance, of finding your importance, and then feeling insignificant and unfulfilled in that, it can feel really scary to break out and try and do all of these things and find your significance. And trust me, ladies, this isn't something that you can do alone. It is something that really takes a group of empowered women and women who are really changing the narrative 
of what it means to be a woman in her significance. Because again, we've been surrounded by not so many, uh, so, so not so helpful role models of women in their significance. So women in politics and all of that kind of stuff. Although I've got, you know, big, big respect um, for the women that step up and do that. And, and I know how tough that is. And what we see happening in the world at the moment in terms of the political world is so much needs to change. And it really means that women need to step into their significance. And instead of being sucked up and spat out by the system that we currently have in place, it, it, it's about really stepping into their purpose, their values, their meaning, our meaning, all of us as a collective, and it really involves some exclusion of men. And that's not excluding men for the wrong reasons. It's about us really trying to find that narrative and that way that we can lead differently and to step into significance in a different way. Because this is very new to us because the insignificance is not. So it's really about working out that new path, which we can do so much more powerfully together and on purpose. So ladies, it's been great to share with you that what is significance and really tune in with you here. What is significance to you? Because it's a very personal journey. It's a very personal map and it's one that unfolds as you go deeper with stepping out, breaking out from your current position of prestige and, you know, really creating your business of significance and your life of significance. And you have to face those fears that we've talked about and we really have to look at what might be getting in the way of you stepping into your significance. So maybe you're not being visible, you're not being seen, you're not being heard, you have a fear of being accountable. You know, we talked about in the earlier podcast episodes of this intrepid commitment and what it takes. So this is going another layer deeper as to why it is that you might be stepping away from that commitment, that responsibility, and you know, looking at those previous experiences. But we've also looked at why it's so important here, because it's what pulls you forward is your values it's your vision it's being visible so what does significance look like for you in 2020 what does it feel like what does it sound like and what might you have to give up in order to get there and what's not been serving you in 2019 because hey we're about to move into a new decade where more and more women are going to be stepping up into their significance and we're certainly doing that in the she rebel club we're having an amazing conversation about this and at the rebel heart club mastermind which is my yearly program the doors are currently open we're having two retreats this year so we are having a retreat in morocco in april so if you would like to speak to me about that program which does take intrepid commitment to be part of and then please reach out but also excitingly the i am partnering with gems from gem yoga to host a space and significance retreat in devon on the 20th of March over the spring equinox and space is significance. Women need their space to find their significance. We need that exclusion. We need to find our diversity and narrative within conversation with other women. So during that retreat, you're going to find your space with a beautiful yoga in nature with amazing other women and have lots of one-to-one -one coaching, but also group coaching around significance and what it means to you. So if you would like to hear more about that, then please do reach out to me and let's have a conversation. Have an amazing rest of the day and I will speak to you really soon. Thanks for listening to She Rebel Radio, the podcast for high-performing women leaders who want to unlearn conventional rules, leave prestigious careers and launch businesses of significance. She Rebel Radio is executive produced and hosted by women's advocate and coach Lulu Mintz. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe so you never miss another episode. You can find Lulu Mins on Facebook and LinkedIn at Lulu Mins and on Instagram at Lulu Mins underscore biz. Until next week, keep rebelling against the rules and designing success your way.